Welcome to the Jaglo and Emerson Learn to Read website. Vowels are tricky letters, and here you're going to learn that any vowel at any time might say uh, and here's why. As you know, our fairy, A.E., has a kind heart and a loving heart, and she likes to be tricky and maybe even a little bit naughty. And one day she got all the consonants together and she didn't invite the vowels and she did not invite that double crossing cheating Y. And she said, hey guys, just bring extra stuff from your house. I have this idea. And they did. Someone brought crayons, someone brought markers, someone brought construction paper, someone brought glue, someone brought an old wire hanger, someone brought a huge dome made of styrofoam that a chandelier came in. Someone brought a, a string of lights from something, and A.E. worked and worked and worked in secret for like a half an hour. And then she came out with this amazing half circle, shiny, flashy thing with weird symbols on it. And she took a, the coat hanger and she curved it and made a hook with it so this big thing could hang on her dress. And she flew with this thing, and she called it Spaceship Schwa. And she had a plan. She took her megaphone, and it was one of those megaphones where it changes the way your voice sounds, so no one would ever recognize you. So when she talked through it, her voice was all weird. And she would fly over the vowels, and she would talk through the microphone, and she would say, take me to your leader. And the vowel would look up and all the vowel could see was flashing lights and weird shapes and symbols and this thing flying in the air. And they were, the vowel's all about to say, yeah, I'm the leader, man, because I can say my name and all the other guys can't and I can, so I'm really the leader. But all of a sudden they thought about it and the vowels are like, oh my gosh, it's a spaceship. It's, it's gonna steal me and do experiments on me. And I just, I don't know what to do. So. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. And for the first time, the vowels are speechless. AE flies over, says, Take me to your leader. And the vowel, all the vowel can do is go, Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, because they just can't decide what to do. So let's take this common word. As you can see, it's an open syllable. The E can run away. So the E would say its name, right? The word would be the. Please give me the book. But we don't say that. Take me to your leader. Uh, uh, uh. So the word is the. How about this word? Magic E, right? Comb. Comb here, please. We don't say that, do we? Uh, uh, uh. Come. How about this one? Two vowels go walking, right? Does. Does he have my pencil? Uh-uh. Uh, 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 does. Does he have my pencil? How about this one? Magic-y, right? Love. I love you. Mm, that's not very romantic. You have to say, uh, uh, love. How about this one? Two-syllable word, moth. Er, mother. I love my mother. Mm -mm. Love my uh, uh, mother. Any word at any time, any vowel, vowel team might say uh, uh, uh. And that is the schwa sound. Because AE tricks the vowels with her spaceship schwa. And many of our most common words are schwa words. For example, what, the, come, some, son, from, does, mother, person, was, of, a, uh, other, around, away, again, second. Now the key with schwa words is not to try to remember which ones are schwa words or memorize the spellings of them. What you want to do is just be aware of them. So when you're reading for the next couple weeks, find those schwa words. Go, oh, there's a schwa, there's a schwa. 
And when you're reading a word you haven't read before, one you don't know and you're sounding it out and it's not making sense, take the vowel and try uh, 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 and see if that works. Thanks for watching the J. Glow and Emerson Learn to Read website. And that was Spaceship Schwa.